In this basic tutorial, uh, this time I'm going to show you how to explode a block that has been uh, locked when it was created so you can't explode it. So here I have a block of a couch. Now if I select that, you can see that it's a, a block that's got the one grip up there. Now if I uh, press X for explode and then spacebar or enter, um, it'll ask me again to select an object. So I'll select the object and if you look down the bottom here it says cannot explode that block um, that's because when you create a block it's possible to lock the block. If I just create a polyline here I'll show you what I mean. Now if I press uh, the B command to create a block and uh, click on select object OK, let's enter again. If you'll notice over here it says allow exploding uh, if that's ticked we're allowed to explode the block but if that block is created with that unticked, uh, we can't uh, exploit the block. So I'll just call this uh, test for a moment so we can see. I'll click OK. So we've created our block. Now if I click again, explode, and again I can't, I can't exploit that block. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back to our couch. Uh, let's select our couch and we'll right click to bring up a menu. Now we'll left click on block editor. So now we're in the block editor. What we need to do here is we need to have the properties window open. So uh, we can do that two ways. Uh, one way is just to select one of the objects, uh, then right click and go down to properties. So we bring up our properties window here on the left. If I close that and I'll show you the other way. The other way is just to type the word properties at the command prompt. And that also brings up the properties window. So whatever you prefer. I find it a bit easier just to click an object and then right click and click on properties. Okay, so now we've done that. Um, make sure you press escape a few times so we're not selecting any objects, no objects are selected at all. Now we go over to our properties window and we drag down the slider on the left hand side. And uh, we come down to the bottom to see the word block category. And we go down here, you'll see allow exploding and it says no. So we left click on the no and then we click on yes that it will allow us to explode the block now so well now we can close the block editor so you should be able to just click on close block editor and I'll ask you to save the changes which you want to do so left click and we're back in our AutoCAD model space now if I select that um, block again you can see that it's still a block um, but this time if I click X for explode and now click the couch. You can see it's now broken it all into the different lines that we used to create it originally. So that's a simple way to make an unexploitable block exploitable again. Uh, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. Thanks.